So you might be having an issue on your Android phone where for some reason it keeps telling you that the mobile network is not available. Now this is a very, very common issue and the reason why this is happening is because it's exactly as the name suggests. Your mobile network is just not available. So what I would recommend doing, first of all, is making your way over to your settings application. So making your way right here, you want to go into network and internet. If you have a Samsung phone or any other device that's not stock Android, you want to make your way over to the area where you can see your cellular data connections. So you can see right here, I have internet. I do have calls and SMS, but I don't have a SIM card installed, so it's gray and it's not highlighted. You can also see that I have SIMs and all this other stuff, but I do not have a SIM card in this phone. If you do not have a SIM card in your phone, that is why you're getting that error, and you also probably want to make sure you're connected to a Wi-Fi connection. Now, if you make your way up to the top left corner of your device, or if you scroll down, you should be able to see some information about the cell signal that you're on. So if you have something like, you know, T-Mobile or at t or Verizon, you should be able to see that somewhere along the lines of your device. So you want to make sure you see that. If you do not see that or if it says no signal or no service, that basically means you do not have any signal in your area or you're just not connected to that specific internet connection around you and or maybe your SIM card has an issue. So another thing you want to do is make sure you are not on airplane mode. Whenever I've had an issue like this, being on airplane mode is usually why you're having this issue and that is typically why you get some sort of issue. So if I go on airplane mode right now, everything's going to turn off. If I go open this, you should be able to see that I might get an error. If I open up YouTube, I might get a little connect to the internet. Basically, whenever you're not connected to the internet, you're going to get that issue. So make sure you are connected to an internet connection and that can help alleviate that issue as well. So those are the main ways to go and fix this. You can also try restarting your phone. So just hold down the power button, power back on. That may end up fixing it too, but those are pretty much the main ways to do it in my opinion. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.